Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to go over installing Speed Test Tracker on dockage. So I did make a video on how to do this before, but I'm going to be going over it again because things have changed, the Docker image, uh, and, and I really like to keep my videos up to date for the Big Bear community. So uh, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So I'm going to be going over the updates to Speed Test Tracker, and I'm going to be installing it and getting it up and running. Um, there was updates like the Docker image changed. It changed over to Linux server. Um, so uh, I updated the Docker Impose on Bigger Video Assets, and um, you can get the new updates uh, right now. So I'm going to be going over installing it and getting it set up. Um, I, I want to keep the, all of my videos up to date as much as possible. Uh, for the Big Bear community. So this is what I'll be installing today. So I'm going to be starting on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go over the search and type um, speed test. And then now I'm going to go to how to install speed test tracker 2 on dockage right here. And then I'm going to go in the docker compose. So version 3.3 .3 of docker compose file formats being used. I'm going to set some services, and then the first service underneath the services is called Speed Test Tracker. The container name is going to be called Speed Test Tracker, and this is so Docker doesn't have to iterate a random name. The image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. Ports are 88, uh, 8080 on the host, and if this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it to like 8081. And then on the container side is 80. And then on the host side is 8443 on the host side. And then on the container side is 443. Um, so now the environment variables right here. Oh, also on the container side right here, do not change the container side. Only change the host side if you need to. The environment variables right here. So app key. And you can generate a new app key going to this URL right here. Um, so the user ID and the group ID are set to 1000 and, um, the DB connection is right here. So the DB host, DB port, a DB, pa uh, a, a database, DB username and DB password. And this should rhyme with the credentials down here. And then now you can set your own time zone right here. And then you can set up the speed test schedule. So, so you can set a Chrome, um, right here and it's set to right now to every 10 minutes so now um vo volumes down here so on the host side is etc local time and then on the container side is etc local time and it's set to read only on the container side now we're coming down here so speed test tracker config data that's on the host side and then that's a volume down here um so on the container side is config, speed test tracker, web data. Uh, that's local volume that's defined right here. And then um, it's going to be etc SSL web on the container side. So now restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. So this service right here is going to be storing data in this service right here. So it is depending on the D a DB service to be up and running. So now we're in the service of DB. And then the image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. And it's MariaDB. And then the version is 10. Uh, that's the uh, Docker image tag as 10. Restart always means that no matter if you stop it or it gets errors, it always be restarting. So it could be in a restart loop if there's some error happening or if it's not able to restart correctly. So now environment variables, MariaDB database, speed test tracker, that should rhyme with the DB da da database right here. 
and the number read db user speedy and that should rhyme with the db username right here the marie db password right here it should rhyme with the db password right here and then the marie db random root password is generated and it's set to true so volumes down here so speed test tracker can fit a uh, uh, db data i mean uh that's a volume down here right here and then on the container side is var lib mysql so do not change the container side so i'm going to go up here to copy raw file i'm going to click it then i'm going to go over to my dockage and get this installed so i wanted to let you know uh, about the big bear club uh, uh, uh you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and i very much appreciate it so uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start in my dockage and I'm going to go up to compose right here. Stack name, I'm going to put in as speed test tracker stack. So now I'm going to come over here to the editor and I'm going to paste in the Docker and post I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. I want you to do that. You'll see it over in the UI over here, speed test tracker and the DB service. So two, uh, two services. Uh, so I'm going to go up here to deploy the changes. So now what this is doing is it downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, getting it up with Docker Impose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. It's also setting up the network and the volumes. So now we got it successfully deployed and it's up and running. So now I'm going to be changing out the app key. So I'm gonna to go to speed test tracker stack right here, go to edit, and then I'm gonna come over here to the URL of speed test tracker .dev. Um, So I'm going to paste that into my browser to go to it. And then I'm gonna see right here, app key. I'm gonna to click to copy and it's now copied. So I'm going to go back over to my dockage. And now I'm in my dockage again. So I'm going to highlight the old app key. Then I'm going to paste it in. So now we've changed the app key. So we can go up here to deploy the changes. So now the changes are deployed and we changed the app key successfully. So now I'm going to go over the Dockage UI. So on the home page, you'll have active, exit, and inactive. And this shows the stacks, uh, the statuses of the stacks over here. So you can go into them. And you can have your actions up here. So edit, restart, update, stop, stop and inactive, and then delete. You can see the containers right here. So now you can click on the ports and go to the UI. Uh, you can go inside of each container by clicking the bash. And then if bash don't work, you can do SSH, but uh, SH, I mean, um, so now you can go back to stack and you can do the same thing with this one right here, the DB servers. You can come down here and see the, uh, logs. This is great for debugging. You can see a read only version of the Docker impose over here. So, um, you can go up here to edit and you can add a service underneath the services like this. And then now you can see it right here and then you can scroll down here and you can see it right here and it added it underneath the services. So that's a quick way of adding a service. And then you can uh, add the image like that. And then right here, uh, right here, you can see that the image has been added over here on the editor. Plus it's added over here on the UI. And then if you want to remove the service, you just say delete. You can add a URL, you can set environment variables, uh, change the internal and external networks. Um, so you can come up here to the actions up here. So deploy the changes, save the changes, and then stop it inactive and then discard the changes. So I'm going to discard the changes. So that's a little bit about the dockage UI. So now I'm going to go to the UI and log in. So HTTPS and then the IP of my dockage and then the port is 8443. So I'm going to go to it and now you get the self-signed certificate uh, issue like your connection is not private. So I'm going to just verify it and proceed. 
So now we're going to put our default credentials in, which they are admin at example.com. And then the password is just password. So and there we go. Admin at example.com and then password. And then I wouldn't say remember me because you're going to change the password. And uh, so sign in. So now we are signed in and you can see it started to do speed test. So now I'm going to start on the UI. So if you go up here to the, your avatar and you go to profile, you can see the name. You can cha change your name. You can change your email. You can change your password. And then I would recommend you doing this and then save changes. And you can also cancel. You can go up to the avatar again and you can change the light theme, which is already there. And then dark theme and then the system a default to where it, it goes back and forth between light and dark. And then you can sign out. You can see the notifications up here. And then you can run a manual speed test right here. You can see the latest uh, uh, download and the latest upload and the latest ping. The download right here and then the upload, the ping, the jitter, the upload latency, and the download la la latency right here. Um, you can go over to results and you can see the results and what happened. You can go over here and you can view on speedtest.net, view, update comments, and then delete. You can also go in here and you can see more info like the ID cr uh, cr created at and then uh, packet loss, different things. Um, you can go over to users and you can see the users that are in here. You can go over here to view, edit, and then you can add a new user if you'd like. Name, email, password, role is admin or user and then create it at and update it, and then you can create and uh, you can create and create another right here, or just create this user. Uh, you can cancel out of this. You can set up InfluxDB. You can enable it and URL, verify SSL, org, bucket, and token. Um, you can go to notifications right here. You can enable da uh, database notifications, and then um, a Discord, and then mail, and then Telegram, and then uh, you can enable a web hooks, and then you can save changes. You can also enable uh, absolute thresholds right here, and then download, upload, and then ping, and then save changes. Documentation, donate, and GitHub links. So that's a little bit about the speed test trackers UI. So I just went over the Docker and Pose and the changes. Uh, I also uh, I showed you how to install it step by step. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go out in the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.